Module 2, Research Section of the University Library's website. The goal of this module is for the viewer to be able to locate information using the databases and search tools located on the University Library's website. Located at the bottom of the University Library's website are links to information broken up by section. The third section is the Research section. The links found below this title can also be found by clicking on the word Research. The first link takes you to the CAT, which is one of several ways to browse the University Library's collections. Here you can do a quick search by keyword, browse to begin with a letter or a word, or an exact word match. The drop-down menu provides you with options for searching, for example, author or title. You can also narrow your search to a particular library. The CAT also enables you to complete an advanced search for your research. Clicking on the Advanced Search link on the right-hand side opens up several search boxes that will help you in narrowing the search down. There is also a great link located in the blue menu for help. This will explain the various searches and give tips on how to better utilize the cat. You can also complete a Begins With or Browse search. This search brings you an alphabetical list of titles, authors, journal titles, series, or subjects that match the words you've typed in. Use the browser begins with search when you know the exact name or first words of what you're searching for. If I were to search for math and click on titles, catalog items containing math would appear. Clicking on a link takes me to the items for review. For example, link number two has math with 18 results. If I did not get an item that was useful to my search, I could continue searching in Lion Search, WorldCat, HattieTrust Full Text, Google Books, Google Scholar, or YouBorrow. Those links are located on the right-hand side of the page. There are also options to limit the search results. Also on the right-hand side of the page under Catalog Searches, on the Quick Search page, you can do a call number search, so you can browse an inventory of each library's holdings in call number order. Browsing by call number allows you to quickly see a library's holdings in a specific call number area, and if you know the exact call number, you can search to find the item. Databases by title A through Z takes you to the alphabetical list of databases that can also be found using the tabs in the search section located in the middle of the library's homepage. Here you can locate a database by alphabetical order, or you can get a brief description of the database. You can also find out more about the database by clicking on the information icon that is located to the right of each database. If you prefer not to browse through the sources, you can use the search box to type in the name of the database or a brief description of the database. The Try These First link will take you to book and background sources and article sources including the Academic Search Complete and the Access World News Newsbank. To help with research basics, you may want to show the patron the Research Basics Guide and the Citation and Writing Guides located under More Help. The Research Guide will provide you with links to research guides to help you find high quality information. These research guides are created by librarians who are subject specialists in a wide array of disciplines. Search the research guides by keyword or use the alphabetical list to find the appropriate guide. Each research guide is different, but they all provide excellent information to get patrons going in the right direction. The link to Course Guide takes you to the Course Guide Finder. The Course Guide Finder allows you to locate course guides by course name, campus name, or instructor. By using the tabs, you can change your search topic. A complete guide to the library's course guides is also available for browsing. The link for subject specialists provides you with a list of the subject specialist librarians for each department and college. These people provide services designed to help our patrons access information resources and use them more effectively. The Scholarsphere link takes you to a secure repository service, which enables the Penn State community to share its research and scholarly work with a worldwide audience. Faculty, staff, and students can use Scholarsphere to collect their work in one location and create a durable and citable record for their papers, presentations, publications, data sets, or other scholarly creations. You can browse the repository on the left by several topics, or you can search by keywords in the search box at the top right of the page. The Online Reference Shelf link provides a set of links to online reference databases as well as Penn State Library's research guides. Citation Guides gives you links to resources on citation styles, citation tools, plagiarism prevention, and writing guides.
The link for Digitized Collections takes you to a page where you can explore thousands of fascinating images and documents, from blueprints to book plates and from diaries to published academic research. More research allows you to find some of the same links that were covered in the research section. It also provides you with links to Interlibrary Loan, the NewsCat, and the Research Data Management Toolkit and Research Project Calculator. Your knowledge of the links for the research section will allow you to provide our patrons with answers to their questions and provide excellent patron service.